Ready to launch? Uh, I'm not sure how to say this, Captain, but there isn't enough fuel for our trip back to Earth. Vegan! No more fuel? How will we get back to Earth? What's going on? Currently, we are set to travel 80,000 miles away from Mars. And then turn 90 degrees and move 80,000 miles. And then turn 90 degrees again, so we are facing away from Mars and move 70,000 miles. We're trying to find a solution back to Earth because there isn't enough fuel. We need to find a way back to Earth, but how do we do that? We could use Pythagorean Theorem. What is this Pythagorean Theorem you speak of? Pythagorean Theorem is a fundamental relationship among three sides of a right triangle. Since we need to find a shorter way back to Earth, we can use Pythagorean Theorem. Well, first you have to draw it out. 80,000 miles away from Mars, then turn 90 degrees and head 80,000 miles, and then turn 90 degrees and move 70,000 miles again away from Mars. That total is the amount that the rocket ship goes from Mars to our Earth. Then add 80,000 plus 70,000 because of the rocket ship going 80,000 miles and 70,000 miles going west in the same direction, which equals 150,000. Since it is in a different direction, leave the other 80,000 miles separate. If you redraw the shape, it will be a scalene triangle. Two sides will measure 150,000 miles west by 80,000 miles north. We will have to calculate the longest side. We can use the formula for Pythagorean theorem. It is a squared plus b squared equal a squared. h is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the opposite side of a right angle. Then the equation would be 150,000 squared plus 80,000 squared equal h squared. To find out, you have to multiply each number by itself two times. It equals to 22 billion 500 million plus 6 billion 400 million, which equals 28 billion 900 million. Then you have to find the square root of 28 billion 900 million and h squared. The square root means the number that makes a quantity when it is multiplied by itself. So the square root of 28 billion 900 million is 170,000 because 170,000 times 170,000 equal 28 billion 900 million. The square root of h squared is h because h times h equal h squared. Then you subtract 170,000 from 230,000 because it was the total amount of miles originally from the rocket ship to Earth and 170,000 because of the shortened trip. The answer would be 60,000. If the rocket ship were to go straight, it would skip 60,000 miles from its original route. I get it now. Yeah, it's really not that bad. Guys, we have a problem. We can't use Pythagorean theorem. Our navigation system won't accept the exponents. We need another way to solve our problem. Well, we can use vector addition to solve our problem. What is this vector addition you speak of? Well, let me explain. The first thing I would do is draw a diagram of the trajectory vectors. Our plan calls for three separate vectors. The first vector occurs when we travel 80,000 miles away from Mars. Our second vector is when we turn 90 degrees and travel 80,000 miles. And our last occurs when we turn another 90 degrees and travel 70,000 miles. I would then rearrange these into horizontal and vertical vectors. To solve our solution, we need to find the resultant of the vector addition, which is a vector that starts at our current position and goes directly to Earth. In order to find the resultant, we can use trigonometry and more specifically the sine function, which states the sine of theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the longest side, also known as the hypotenuse. I know the opposite side is 80,000 miles. I then measured the angle using a protractor to find the degrees in theta and discovered that theta is approximately 28 degrees. The sine of 28 degrees is equal to 80,000 divided by the hypotenuse. I would then divide both sides by the sine of 28 degrees and multiply both sides by the hypotenuse. I would then get the equation and hypotenuse is equal to 80,000 divided by the sine of 28 degrees or 170,000. That means if we go directly to Earth, it would take 170,000 miles instead of 80,000 plus 80,000 plus 70,000 or 230,000 miles. So the direct route would save us 60,000 miles. I think we have a workable solution. I guess we use vector addition now. I'll start punching in the coordinates. Move the thrusters to 3 quarter pi power. I like pi. We all do.